Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Georgimon and I'm your friendly neighborhood anime and manga fan. I love all things anime and all things manga and I'm here today to talk about Chainsaw Man episode 8. So, what did I think about this week's episode? I personally think this episode was just completely fire. I This, this episode was a banger, man. This episode to me is the beginning of the greatness that's to come because this is the point where the series really you know really takes off and really goes from being just a good series to being a great series because this episode is the beginning of the katana man arc and the katana man arc is what really solidified to me as a manga reader when i was reading the manga my love for chainsaw man and i'm sure that a lot of anime only are going to feel the same because this episode just starts with a with a banger man but before we get to this week's episode let's have a little quick recap of last week's episode so in last week's episode we left off we're uh, pretty much the the entire hunter division four they go you know out for drinks everybody gets drunk uh denji gets her, his kiss from uh, himeno uh then himeno throws up on him and you know it's, it's an iconic scene and pretty much he takes him back to his place and eventually denji wakes up she's on top of him and she's like hey you know you you want to do it and denji you know that's where we leave off we're like whoa what's gonna happen so in this week's episode, we continue from where we left off, and you see that pretty much Himeno's down for it, man. Himeno, she straight up tells Denji, like, hey, uh, are we doing it? Pretty much what happens is she's, like, undressing him, and as Himeno continues to undress Denji, she, you know, eventually gets to take down his pants, and then, you know, she's grabbing the pants, and he's like, whoa, what's this? Then we get a flashback of Denji before he got to Himeno's place, which is that pretty much after the throw-up, and... Uh, you know, once, you know, he cleaned his mouth and all that with Arai, uh, Denji, you know, he, Makima gave him some medicine and pretty much took care of him for a bit and she eventually just, like, gives him, you know, like, some medicine to get better and she's like, hey, you know, don't worry about it, it's fine, just make sure you take your medicine and Denji's like, oh man, that sucks, my first kiss goes like this, this blows and Makima just pretty much tells him, like, open your mouth and then she gives him the lollipop that she was you know sucking on and she's like hey so i know tonight sucked and i know that this was not the ideal way of having your first kiss but you know in your life they're gonna have a lot of taste and i'm sure that the taste of vomit that you just experienced it's something that's gonna stick with you but as time goes on you'll learn new taste and you know you'll eventually forget about it as well as you know maybe your first kiss went badly but hey he, here's your first indirect kiss and i'm sure he went better and denji's like whoa so then we cut to the present time which is himeno passed down in the bed and denji you know is in the floor and he's like sorry pochita i know you you definitely wanted to get it on with himeno probably but you know i gotta i gotta stay loyal to my girl makima you know i cannot cheat on my girl which you know denji loyal he might be a simp and you know a lot of fellas out there would have taken their shot at himeno but denji stuck to his morals he said nah makima is my queen and as such i will not cheat on her but anyhow uh then we cut to the morning and himeno pretty much wakes up denji's like hey good morning and denji's like whoa so she's like want to get some breakfast so they get some breakfast and they start chit-chatting a bit and she's like hey did we do it last night he's like of course not there's no way i would ever smash freaking puke girl and himeno gets all offended and she's like oh Thank God, because they could have been in jail because, you know, you're underage and why not? So then, uh, Himeno, she, she tells Denji, like, hey, you like Makima, right? It's like, yeah. It's like, okay, how about we make an alliance? You hook me up with Aki and I can hook you up with Makima. And Denji's like, what, really? And he's like, yeah. It's like, And Denji's like, by the way, what do you even see on Aki? Like, how can you even like this guy? And she's like, well, he's hot. And then <laughs> pretty much Denji's like, like okay fair enough i guess so pretty much they have an alliance they they build a little bond and she's like starting from today you're no longer i'm no longer your senior and you know you're uh, we're pretty much friends like and you know it's cool and she's like make sure to bring uh aki and and that fiend as well which is power is like make sure to bring them to breakfast sometime too and then denji's like do you think makima can come and you know then we cut to makima and what we see from makima is that she's in a speed train and she looks like she's going to a conference or some kind of meeting with the higher ups and she's like oh you know that beer was great everything was great last night i had a lot of fun and you know she's just kind of laying back chillaxing she's ready to you know get this meeting over with because she you know she probably doesn't want to deal with it but she's going to this business meeting 
and the next thing you know uh pretty much these passengers just pull up guns and just shoot makima and pretty much kill her like a point blank range they just shoot her and it's shocking like i remember reading this in the manga and i was like whoa like that really opened my eyes i was like what the heck just happened like what's going on but not just that you also see that the other people in the division four are being taken down and what happens is you see other the other division people that were at the party they're kind of just doing their thing at, and, and you know they're working and i don't know where bystanders just start like pulling guns and you hear gunshots for example you see kobeni and arai they're helping this old lady and you know they're walking away and i don't know where the old lady pulls a gun and she pretty much you hear gunshots and she, she shoots at them but you hear all these gunshots and in the meantime you see that himeno aki power and denji they're just eating at a ramen shop but they can hear all these gunshots because they're going simultaneously so it seems like it's a setup and people somewhere are trying to take down division four we don't know who just yet but uh continuing on we see that uh denji and power they're like well, what's that and then power's like oh it's probably some festival drums and then aki's like a festival it sounds suspicious so then you know they're eating at this ramen place and out of nowhere this this random dude out of the bloom is like yeah this this ramen tastes like ass like i hate it it's terrible and then power's like uh hey why are you talking to me like you're my friend or anything mind your business and then denji's like this this ramen is delicious and then this guy goes on a whole little like little rant about how you know all this food tastes bad uh if you taste mediocre food as a kid your p palate will not be redefined as an adult so you'll probably have a terrible palate and you know me in my upbringing i ate a bunch of delicious foods thanks to my grandpa my grandpa always took me to some delicacy places where it was very fancy so i got to taste a lot of delicious food yeah you know he might have been a yakuza like mob person but he always was kind to me and he always treated me well uh you should know all about that he, i'm sure he treated you well too denji and then just like what and then he puts a picture and big surprise uh the guy that we're talking about uh i guess he's the grandson of the guy that denji was working for in the very beginning in the first in the first episode so that's a big plot twist you're like whoa what so yeah this guy is the grandson of denji's former boss which obviously denji killed and the next thing you see is this guy pulls a gun and tells denji like the gun double wants your heart and he just shoots at denji and point blank like denji gets shot in the head and you're like whoa and then he proceeds to keep shooting and he you know he's shooting at them and you know aki himeno are freaking out and then power punches him but then power is like hey top knot take care of it and then aki proceeds to use Khan, and you know this is a big the whole building collapses and comes down on them and you know they're like what the heck just happened and you know then you hear Khan, uh the devil that aki has a contract with is like hey uh aki whatever you fed me is not human or devil or a devil and it uh, it's something devious it's something that i never tasted and then you see the the wolf pretty much get destroyed and sh shred into pieces and you find out that this guy he transformed into a devil similar to denji and this guy is known as katana man this guy katana man he just sliced up and freed himself and aki and them were like what the this guy's insane what is this so then pretty much aki he proceeds to grab the sword that he had been holding this entire time that previously got hinted at and he pulls it out and you actually see it's like a spike and then he proceeds to fight katana man and the fight it's epic it's 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 beautifully animated by mappa mappa has been killing this adaptation with the action scenes this action scene was phenomenal it was just fire man just straight up gas and i cannot praise the animators enough because they have been killing this adaptation up to now it's just been phenomenal but going on uh, pretty much aki and katana man are fighting and during the fight Aki then starts, you know, he starts saying fire every time he stabs the katana man. And then you hear a countdown, like three, two, one. And eventually Aki's like, okay, take care of him now. And you see this devil grab katana man. And then he pretty much crucifies katana man and kills him. At least it looks like he kills him and disposes of him. So then katana man, you know, it's taken care of. Now, during the whole fight, uh, Aki realized like yo Himeno got shot in the chest and she's bleeding out so this is bad like this is bad all around they need to get out of here so then 
Aki, you know, he sees a, a girl just walk by and she's like, so I'm guessing you had a deal with the curse devil. Hmm. And you pretty much it's something along the lines of you have to hit somebody a certain amount of times and then they'll die, I'm guessing. So then Aki's like, who are you people? And then uh, this girl, she tells Katanami, like, get up. And Katanami gets up is like, what happened to you? It's like, well, I let my guard down. And then Katanami just proceeds to continue the fight. And Aki's in shock, like, what? And the next thing you know, and within a flash, uh, Katanami slices Aki. And Aki's out of commission. Like, he's done. And you're like, whoa, what just happened? So now we got Katana Man and we got this girl showing up out of nowhere and it's really bad news for the gang. Now Himeno, she tells the ghost spirit, she's like, hey, uh, take care of that girl. And then the ghost devil's like, no, I'm not going to take care of that. I'm too scared. So then Himeno offers like, okay, listen, take care and help Aki. Take care of the girl and the Katana Man and I'll give you my everything. So then the devil proceeds to pretty much keep his word in the contract and you see the entire form of the ghost devil and the ghost devil is this big epic looking devil and it's awesome and this devil starts to fight katana man and katana man you know he's he's being overwhelmed eventually so right at the very last moments of the fight himeno tells aki uh, aki you have to live because you have to cry when i die and you know pretty much what happens is himeno she offered her all of herself to have all the power of the ghost devil and the ghost devil he you know he's overwhelming katana man and katana is like i need help and with one word pretty much the girl raises her hand is like hey serpent eat it and she takes care of the ghost devil the ghost devil gets defeated and the next thing you see is just him and clothes in the floor she's gone she got consumed so that's the last ditch effort of himeno and the ghost they grab denji's cord and pull it resuscitating him and me can even become the chainsaw man now he transforms and he's like hey you i know for sure you guys are the bad guys because all the shit you've been doing so now i'm gonna wreck you guys and katana man is like i'm down for it let's go now that's where the episode ends pretty much denji and katana man are gonna face off and it's gonna be epic and this week's episode was a banger man this episode just gave us so much action and it was just you know shit hit the fan like a lot of a lot of shit went down Oh, Makima got shot and killed. Himeno got killed. Uh, the whole division is getting shut down. Like, what is going on? And as you anime only, you guys have a lot to look forward to because the Katana Man arc really elevated Chainsaw Man to another level. I personally love this week's episode, but hey, that's just my thoughts. What did you guys think about it? Did you guys like the episode? Did you guys hate it? Did you guys thought it was all right? Whatever you guys thought, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more anime and manga content in the near future. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.